How's it going everyone? Zabby here and welcome back to the complete fishing planet guide. Today we're going to be going to the Everglades. This might be the first two-part episode. There's a lot to do with the Everglades. I'm going to go ahead and finally sell our Omni floats. We're going to get rid of these reels as well. This is going to give us a little bit of extra cash. We are pretty low on cash. Remember, we got to have 7k to be able to go to the Everglades. So this is going to give us a little bit more money and we have a lot of extra line here. We can go ahead and sell for my three setups in this video i'm going to be bringing my heavy chaser i got 40 hooks on here i did buy some barbless hooks as well with some bait coins so we're going to go ahead and equip those real quick perfect and let's go ahead and throw those shiners back on there for the second rod i'm going to be using the nero 330 this again is the same rod as the last video in falcon and we bought this in the last episode we're going to be using this for the bass we're going to be using 3-0 hooks on our nero rod we're going to be using a mix of shiners and small minnows when we're going after bass and then finally we're going to bring our feather light we're going to try and use this for bass as well for the big unique bass it's going to be tough to bring them in on this setup but for the other ones it's going to be not too shabby so even though we're not going to the everglades with a perfect setup right now i wanted to go there get some xp level up get some money stuff like that then we'll leave come back with a better setup but for now, this is what I am going with. For hook sizes, I'm bringing number one, number four aught, number eight, number one aught, three aught, and then four aught. Uh, we'll just bring the barbless four aught. For baits, I'm bringing medium cut bait, shiners, small minnows, marshmallows, semolina balls, blood worms, crawlers, and red worms. I'm bringing this shad here to go on our feather light. These are the lures I'm bringing with me. This barbless spinner right here, you did get from Falcon. And we're still rocking this 70 kilogram keep net. We're going to be using this here and we'll probably upgrade that once we go to michigan but yeah let's head to the everglades guys make sure you grab an advanced license and i'll see you guys there come on down to the infinity tunnels i'm going to be equipping my panfish setup so i got number eight hooks with some red worms on and we're going to try and bang out some of these uh exploration missions here so we need the blue gill the golden shiner the warm out the oscar the brown bullhead the red sunfish so let's go ahead and Hello, just try and start and i just realized he forgot again Okay, it doesn't really matter anyways, because we can leave here. But yeah. For your depth, go to 50 or 60 centimeters like we always have been. That should work out okay. We're just going to go right here. There we go. We grab the bluegill nice and quickly. Grab the golden shiner. I threw on some night crawlers and a number one hook trying to get the brown bullhead. I just cast it directly out in front of me. I actually got the trophy warm out right there so i got pretty lucky i'm still going for the black bullhead i'm just casting like literally directly in front of me i'm doing 120 centimeters depth again i was going for the catfish so i figured that's what i was going to get i will throw a conversion up for you guys but yeah i literally just casted like that and got the uh, trophy warm out so there you go give that a shot if that's what you're looking for i swap spots and grab the brown bullhead guys let me just show you where i went i am using the same depth as i was before so 120 centimeters and it was just the floating thickets. You just literally just come out and cast right in front of you and you should be able to grab it. I was using a number one hook with marshmallows as well, by the way. Put on some blood worms and a number one hook and drop your leader length down to 50 centimeters and just go to the left of where the bullhead was and just cast in this general area right here and you should be able to grab the Oscar right there, guys. Just throw in the blood worms, change the leader length and you should be good to go here. And there we go. We grabbed the Oscar. We just need the red ear sunfish now. The red ear sunfish, I just did the exact same thing just back in the bullhead spot. And I seem to grab it pretty quickly. There's a couple different ways you can catch this. If you're having trouble, try and get some wax worms. We got a nice mono leader, 1500 bucks and a bait coin. And now we can move on to exploration number two. All right, guys, throw on a 1-0 hook and some small minnows. I'm going to about 75 centimeters. It doesn't really matter. Anything around there should work. There we go, guys. A nice Florida gar. I literally just cast it directly in front of us where we were pan fishing before. And you can get the bowfin this way. So I'm going to keep fishing for the bowfin. But yeah, this is exactly where I cast it for the gar. So same spot as the pan fish. Worked really, really well. 1-0 hooks. 75 centimeter depth with the small minnows. Worked nice and easy. For the bowfin, guys, come on down to the lily pad channel. Throw on medium cut bait. 1-0 hook size. And again, I'm still at 75 centimeters depth. It doesn't really matter. Again, just cast over by this boat here and you should grab one immediately. I caught mine first cast. 
Probably won't be as lucky here, but you can see I did get it down there on the left-hand side. I no longer have to catch it, but this is just where I grabbed it about a second ago. And there you go. It looks like we got another one on already. Nice and quick, nice and easy. Just no effort at all to grab the bow fin. And you can see there is that big in right there. Bring it in. There we go. Nice trophy bow fin. 236 XP. $274. Not too shabby. Now we just need both types of catfish. Coming back to the Infinity Tunnel, guys. And we'll go after the catfish. Throw on some medium cut bait. A 1-0 hook size. And we're going to 120 centimeters. I will throw a conversion up for you. And literally just cast out directly in front of you. And there we go. We got the nice channel catfish directly in front of us. Super, super easy. Now we just need the gaff top sail catfish and we are good to go. Come on over to the salty delta guys. The spawn point on the very far right hand side and come on over to this tree area right here. Anywhere in here should be good for the catfish. You can catch them on a little bit of everything. I'll just use medium cut bait. But any catfish bait should be okay here guys. Shouldn't take too long. Just keep fishing. Eventually you're going to go ahead and grab one. I did end up getting the gaff topsail catfish, but I did go with my bottom rod to use it and went with the bigger hook size. The reason why I did this is because I kept getting some snooks on my smaller float rod. So if you are having that issue and can't seem to grab one, all you have to do is just let it outline whenever there's a snook on. And that's just going to let all the tension out and the fish is going to come off the hook and then you can keep going after the catfish. But if you have a bottom rod or a better rod, just go ahead and use that and that should be good. But there we go. We are now done Everglades exploration number two. And now we can move on to the Everglades trial challenge. Now, I already did catch a butterfly peacock bass and you can catch them in the same area as the largemouth. For the common snook, the red drum and the tarpon, we're going to need a heavy duty gear. And this is kind of where it starts to get a little bit tough. If you are here at the Everglades normally, it's going to be very, very hard to go after and catch the tarpon, the red drum, and the snook because you probably don't have the gear for it. Meaning this is probably going to be where you go ahead and start to buy a DLC. So if you do buy a DLC, it's going to be a lot easier to catch these three. However, if you want to wait, not finish this mission right now, you don't have to. You don't have to complete these missions in any specific order. You can always come do them later. If you want to catch some bass, come on over to the infinity tunnels. And this is what we're going to do now. There's tons of different ways to catch bass here. You can use bass jigs. You can use top water. You can use poppers. You can use uh, mat rods. You can use bottom rods. It really doesn't matter. But what I found is you can get the butterfly peacock bass a lot easier, a little bit closer to this, uh, the weeds here and the shrubbery. And then I find largemouth are best out in the open here. And generally, I get peacock when it's a close retrieval as I'm reeling in. So it's really just luck of the draw. I already got a butterfly peacock bass, so I just need a largemouth. But you can catch bass all over the place here, guys. If you want a more in-depth video, I do have a bass guide already. I will try and remember to throw it up in the cards. But yeah, you can catch bass over here. You can catch bass over here. Any of the other spawn points too, guys. It really doesn't matter. You can catch bass absolutely anywhere. But yeah, if you're looking for butterfly peacock, try in this area right here. And then if you're looking for largemouth, go a little bit more in the uh, middle of the waterway here. There you go. I got a nice largemouth bass. Nice and easy. And you can get nice uniques here on the largemouth, guys. Just farming in this spot. Uh, I found 3-0 jigs seem to be the best bet. Uh, but you can catch them a lot of different ways. I Again, I go way more in depth in my other video. But if you're looking for unique bass, you want to level up quickly to go to Michigan... 3040 bass jig right here. Absolutely kill it. You can put a shad on it. You can put whatever whatever you want on it, really. Uh, 3 0 hook sizes with small minnows works as well. And you can just grind it out. But that works really, really well, guys. And again, butterfly peacock right in here. Come on back over to the salty delta and we're going to finish off this challenge here. So we were getting some snook before just by accident. So we know where we can get them. The red drum and the tarpon would be a little bit tougher. But let's just go ahead and cast like right here and we should be able to get a common snook, maybe even a red drum, like directly right here. So it shouldn't be too bad. I wanted to give you guys an idea of what the fighting is like here with some of these bigger fish. So this is most likely a big tarpon judging by the way it's handling this rod. So remember guys, this is a DLC rod and look at how much it's fighting with this DLC rod. So trying this with like a 10 kilogram rod, guys, is going to be such a pain. It's just not even worth it. So that's why I recommend grabbing this, this DLC rod here because it's very, very strong and we could use it from here and at almost every big important lake until the end of the game, guys. So that's why I ended up grabbing this. 
and I grabbed it early on. It's actually not even a tarpon. Is that a drum or is that a big snook? Either way, it's a big fish. And just look at how much it's it's doing to this DLC bottom rod here. I can't tell if it's a drum or a snook. They look pretty similar until they get really up close. But yeah, just absolutely crazy how much it's messing with this rod and reel right now. This is like a 25 kilogram setup, I think. There we go. That's a big fish. The big snook. There you go. Unique common snook. $1,400, 735 XP. 17 kilograms, guys. They get big here. They get big here. All we're going to do, guys, is just cast out towards that stick right there. We can go to the right or the left of it. Doesn't really matter. But there's good tarpon out there. There's going to be snook. There's going to be red drum out there. And you can really catch them all over here, guys. It just kind of depends luck of the draw. So I'm using 3 hooks with shiners. I'll probably end up getting a couple of snook a couple of snook maybe even a red drum before i get a tarpon but you never know it's luck of the draw but if you fish this area you're going to catch all three of these fish pretty easily guys but you do need bigger gear for these which is why i have this dlc rod which is why i bought it in the first place because i knew once i started hitting the everglades and alberta i'm going to start needing this heavier duty gear to really bring in those bigger fish and to finish some of these challenges which is one of the reasons why i bought this five dollar bottom rod because i knew this rod is going to be very, very good in helping me here, helping me in Michigan, helping me in Alberta. It's going to help me so, so much over the last half of the game. It's going to be insane. Throw on four old barbless hooks and some shiners, and I'll show you guys exactly where I caught this. I just cast it in between those two sticks right there. Let me throw down a marker. It's going to make it a lot more obvious for you guys where I caught this. But literally just in between those two little sticks pointing out this one there and this one there and just casting out that's going to grab you that red drum, guys. So just go there and you should be good to go. Finally went ahead and got the tarpon. 365 XP, $1,560. It did take a little while. Honestly, I kept getting a bunch of snooks and stuff. But there we go. We got a nice little popper that we can use even on our feather light setup, which is nice and handy. I'll go ahead and place a marker. I did catch it on the left side of the little thing there. So that's where I ended up catching you guys was right there. But that is the exploration missions here for the Everglades. Go into the shop and go into rod stands. Make sure you grab this green pod rod stand right here. This level 24 one. You got to grab this one or else you will not be able to actually use the rod stand at the Everglades. It's really, really stupid. But that's the only rod stand that works there that we actually have unlocked. So go ahead, grab that. Make sure you equip it like I do. And that way we can have three rods going at once. And that's going to increase our productivity. I went ahead and grabbed the sport casting bass pack here, and that's what I've been using for the bass. I just threw on some better line, but for the most part, this is what I've been using here. I got some six kilogram braid on there. I'm using a 4.0 bass jig, 28 grams with the seven centimeter shad. I was using five and that was working fine too. You can try worm, whatever you'd like. It doesn't really matter. You don't even have to use a shad, but that's what I've been using. So this is what I'm gonna be rocking here when we go after the bass here in the Everglades. So let's go there. Make sure you got an advanced license and I will see you guys there. Come on down to the infinity tunnels. This is where we're going to be fishing. I'm just going to cast out here just in the middle of this channel. It's going to be perfect. Just like so. And then I'm going to cast to the very far right with my bottom rod. Now, if you don't have a rod that can cast this far, don't worry about it. Just throw another one over here and that'll be perfectly fine. But I'm just going to cast out to those lily pads there. That's going to be perfect for me. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to be using my casting rod. I'll go ahead, give that a shot, and just keep on fishing, guys. You're going to bring in lots of fish. You're going to get trophies. You're going to get uniques. You're going to get large mouse. You're going to get peacocks. You're going to get all that stuff. So just keep fishing, guys. I'll show you some of my catches, but you'll make lots of money here, lots of XP. It's a great spot. All I've been doing so far is just casting into the water like so. So I got the float rod on the left, and then I'm fishing this right channel here with my other rod. Now, it is doing a lift and drop because it's touching the bottom. I'm going to try to get the twitching like so. There we go. See if we can get a fish on there. But that's all I've been doing. It's working okay. Should be able to catch a lot of fish like this, though. You can get those butterfly peacocks a little bit closer to the uh, weeds and stuff, I find. And there we go. We get a nice butterfly peacock bass. Not amazing XP or anything because our rod's a little bit overpowered, but... There we go, a nice, unique, largemouth bass, 897 XP, $1,113. We were using the barbless uh, four-aught hooks with the shiners. For depth, we were using 70 centimeters. I will throw a conversion up for you guys, but that's been working really, really well for me in terms of getting uniques and trophies. We're still using shiners, so it is pretty expensive, but not too bad. 
come on down to the lily pad channel guys this is another great spot for the bass and there's a really really good uni spot right here so all i'm gonna do is just drop down my rod stand i'm gonna throw my line in the water just about here and then i'm also gonna be using my casting rod in the same ish area there's a really good uni spot right here guys you can generally pull out one a day here so that's kind of why i come over here whenever i start getting bored of the other spot and then i just use my walker here and that's really all i do is just fish here and you can get some more bass here also right in this spot here by the boat you can also grab some bowfin and a couple other different type of fish all i do is one speed here and i just walk it you can see we got a nice little bite there didn't get the fish though so we're just going to reset that and continue walking it and just bring it all the way across here there we go we got a nice fish on already there we go there's a nice large mouth bass you can grab unis out of here guys i haven't caught one right now but there's a nice butterfly peacock bass but you can definitely get unis out of here this is generally um where i come after the first spot fails but yeah check out those two spots if you're really looking to just farm bass those are really the best areas use 4-0 hooks with shiners you're gonna get a good amount of trophy and unique you're gonna have a little bit less of a chance when you're using small minnows but you'll still be able to grab those uniques every now and again anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you guys later